How's it going everybody? It's Mike from PC Classic Cars back with another test drive video. Today we are in this very unique 1965 Chevrolet Cosworth Vega with the original four-cylinder four-speed. I'm going to kick my window down just a little bit. So again, we have a 1975 Cosworth Vega. This one has the original 2.0 uh, dual overhead cam, four-cylinder engine. It is backed by the four-speed Saginaw uh, transmission that these would have came with. And then other than that, I mean, it still is manual steering, and then it does have manual front disc brakes. And it drives like a stock Cos Cosworth Vega is gonna drive like. Uh, it's showing 42,608 miles. Um, unsure what the true mileage is on the car. Uh, very well could be an original 42,000 mile car. So as far as this Vega goes, it runs and drives like a stock Cosworth Vega is going to drive like. Um, they weren't crazy horsepower vehicles um, in 1975 and 1976 when they made these. Uh, they made 110 horsepower. Uh, what is cool about them though, it is a early fuel injection system. Uh, so one of the earlier fuel injection systems, at least on this kind of stuff. Um, and it runs well. Um, it is a little bit wrapped out. Again, they are only four speeds. They do have a little bit of gear in the rear end. Uh, the tech is working on this one. It's showing like 3,400 or so. It might be off just a little bit. Uh, but the items that are not working is your fuel gauge doesn't work, your radio, your radio doesn't work, and then your speedometer is not actually working. You do have three aftermarket gauges under the dash. You have good oil pressure, um, you have good voltage, and there is an aftermarket, uh, well, excuse me, there is an aftermarket temp gauge, but it is reading a little bit warm. I put a thermo gun on the engine, um, and it's reading about 20 degrees hotter than it really is, so probably needs a new sending unit as well. The interior is all stock. Um, the, the Vega uh, dash and the dash plaque is a little bit worn, uh, but it does have the factory uh, Cosworth Vega plaque there. It is number 395. Uh, if my memory doesn't fail me, they made about 3,500 or so of these between 1975 and 1976. And again, this is number 395, so it's an earlier one. And this is a 75, so. All right, so we will uh, do a little uh, little poll here for you. Clutch feels good, motor feels good. Four speed shifts up and down to the gears. You do have the reverse lockout for uh, for going into reverse. That all works. Underside is very clean and very solid. I didn't find any rust issues. The, the body's all clean as well. Um, again, the bottom side does have like the factory undercoat on it. Uh, it is a good solid car on the bottom side. Exhaust is older. Um, I would potentially replace the exhaust because it is a little bit older. Uh, but kind of to each their own on that. If someone wanted to, to leave it, um, it is a little bit loud for my likings, but uh, kind of again, personal preference on that deal. On the exterior, uh, it has your iconic uh, gold Cosworth wheels that are on it, uh, like new tires. Don't know exactly when the repaint was done. It is a factory black uh, Vega. Uh, the repaint looks good, but it does have its imperfections and flaws. Um, walking up to the car, you'll, you'll kind of notice some little touch-ups and miscellaneous imperfections. Uh, but overall, it, it still looks good and it's still presentable. The black obviously shows more flaws than any other color. Bumpers, trim, all that stuff's probably original and does have some wear as well. Overall road feel though is good. Um, it's a tight driving car. Steering goes where I want it to go. Uh, doesn't have any weird, any weird like suspension rattles or anything like that so it actually is a good tight driving car we do have a pickup truck kind of tailing me here so we'll uh 
We'll actually flip down our normal road here. Downshift's good. Those are the rumble strips that you're hearing. All of your glass is in good shape. I think most of it is stock, if not all of it. The windows roll up and down like they should. The windshield looks nice. Back glass looks good. There are some uh, some little sanding scratches. Uh, or some, I'm not sure exactly what kind of scratches they are on the top corner of the back glass. Don't know if they would polish out. Um, but again, it's not that big of a deal. There is just some smaller little imperfections in the back glass up at the top corner. Suspension is all stock style equipment on this. No, again, no weird rattles, no weird sounds. Uh, it actually is a very good driving car. Shockingly, for being a little small car, um, I actually fit in here pretty well. Um, I'm not uncomfortable if I had another person sit next to me. Uh, I still think I'd be comfortable driving. Back seat is probably a little bit snug, um, but at least my driving position, it does have the smaller steering wheel, or these are a smaller steering wheel, um, and they are a fixed position wheel, so there's not a lot of adjustment there. But with the seat back, me being six foot tall, 200 pounds, I fit in here really, really well. The, the armrest and then the way that the shifter sits, uh, just a comfortable driving position. There is quite a bit of information out there on these Cosworth Vegas. If you do a uh, simple AI search or a Google search, um, just do 1975 or 1976 Cosworth Vega. If you don't know anything about them, there's a lot of good info. Um, tells you all about the production numbers, the colors. There actually was a fair amount of colors that were optioned or offered on these. Um, I've personally only seen the, uh, the black and I've seen a green one. But I do know there is a, there's a white, there's an orange, I believe there's a red. Um, I think there's actually a couple other colors as well. So there were a, a few variations of these cars. Um, and it's just something that you do not see very often. Beautiful mm. ride. Overall fuel, um, definitely an interesting car for me. It's not something that I normally mess with at my shop. Um, I actually got this in on trade from a customer. Um, they had the vehicle for, for a while. Um, I, I personally have never owned a Cosworth Vega before, so I said, uh, we'll, we'll take it in, give it a try. Um, and actually hopping in it and driving it, I'm actually impressed with how it drives. It's just a fun little car. The four speed is cool. Um, just, just cool getting something different that I don't normally mess with. Clutch again feels good. As always, I appreciate y'all stopping in to watch another one of my test drive videos. If there's ever anything else that you want to see, have comments, concerns, questions, don't hesitate to reach out, leave a comment on the YouTube channel, or you can call or text us directly at 903-820-1019. Check us out at PCClassicCars.com, or we are across all social platforms. We're on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and the handle across all of those is going to be PC Classic Cars. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next test drive video.